climate change is going to affect everyone, but it already is affecting black people in more severe ways than other groups. I'm Mike Harrington, and this is a word how climate change is oppressing black people. The last five years have been the hottest ever recorded. Low-income neighborhoods tend to be hotter than Stronger wealthier neighborhoods. neighborhoods. Between hotter temperatures and lower income. A lot income. of these neighborhoods were shaped by disinvestment and segregation. And with climate change, these neighborhoods are likely just going to get hotter. Climate-related effects, environmental effects, tend to make things worse for people of color, especially black people. I would say the biggest ones are heat, flooding, and probably public health issues such as blood-borne diseases. The earth is getting hotter, and we know that because there's reports that came out, one recently saying that the past July was the hottest one on record, and the previous five Julys have been the hottest ones on record. One of the things that heat does is it basically harms African-American people, especially in large cities like New York and Chicago. I don't know if you remember back in 1995, there was a terrible heat wave in Chicago, which is where I am from. The city is still advising seniors and other citizens to dress in light clothing, especially drink plenty of water and juices. I have to underline that, drinking plenty of water and juices and usually about 100 people a year die from heat waves, which is terrible. But in about a week, 750 people died in that heat wave, and most of them were black. And there were some studies done that showed that if you were black and poor and elderly, you were almost twice as likely to die from those heat waves. Wondering how long it's gonna take for things to get back to normal, power, water, um, food, gas, Stores destroyed, gas stations destroyed, homes destroyed, loss of life. We also have Hurricane Katrina. When that happened, who was mostly affected by that? It was black people that had to deal with the flooding, with the levees bursting. We're going to see a lot of coastal flooding, especially in areas like Miami, parts of New York and Brooklyn, those low-lying areas where, surprisingly, a lot of people of color tend to live. We also can look at Sub-Saharan Africa, where a lot of heat-related incidents, a lot of droughts, a lot of political instability are going to happen as a result of climate change. And it's a direct interaction of climate change and race. We're not really taught to talk about it because I think we've had to focus on other things. I mean, we're still focusing on having voting rights for everyone. We're still focusing on our health care. We're still focusing on paying our bills. I think in the black community, we've had to focus on so many things that when we start hearing about climate change, that's just another thing that we have to think about that is oppressing us. And right now, unfortunately in our country, we really can't depend on a federal response to deal with climate change. So I think we're gonna have to really try to push our state and local legislatures to deal with this. And when we are able to deal with it better at the federal level, we already have the infrastructure in place. We have the people that have worked on this issue and that have learned about it. And we'll have hopefully money and resources that are given to these groups that are working on this issue to really do something at a national level. People can make a difference. You just have to make sure that you're very conscious about it and that you don't give up. You can't give up on dealing with climate change because it is persistent. When we are creating these solutions, we really need to address the least of us first. And I don't mean least as in like we're worthless. I mean least as in we've been considered less. And I think we need to really look at how to empower those people and give them the resources they need so that they can deal with climate-related impacts. I can see a lot of pushback from that where people are saying we're taking something that we don't deserve or we're taking something from other people that they worked for. But really it's been something that's been stolen from us as black people and people of color and poor people that we weren't allowed or we weren't given the same opportunities that others have.